know, that was that was pretty good. Uh, I thought defensively the first half we were terrific. We were a little bit sped up offensively on the first half. We had ten turnovers, um, probably three or four or five quick shots that we could have shared the ball a little bit more. Second half we were a little bit more poised, a little bit better offensively, only three turnovers, but we let down defensively for us. So, uh, but with that said, um, you know, it was great to have, <clears throat> have the fans back, have some students <clears throat> there tonight, and uh, just kind of get that first game, you know, underneath you, you know, behind you, and, and, and play well. So, encouraging thing for me, I told the players, I was like, you know, we were up 20 something with five to go, and, you know, we didn't, haven't played our best, haven't played. You know, we didn't play particularly well for us, I didn't think. So uh, that's encouraging uh, moving forward. And uh, Our centers were terrific. Q was great. Uh, Julian was great. Um, it's nice to have guys that can score around the rim. Uh, they were terrific. Um, and we'll get better from this. It's really good, really good to get out of the way. We got a lot of new guys. We're trying to, you know, we had one, one second on the shot clock out of my center, and I was calling a play that we don't have in yet. But the old guy, a bunch of veterans would have known it. And I had one veteran and not the guy throwing it in. So I uh, got to coach a little better moving forward. We got a lot to do. Uh, a lot of games coming up. So hopefully we can get better with all these games coming up. Questions, please. We love our clients. And you'll see that if you trust us at the Jackwood Small Group, the big dogs from the small firm. Find us online at bigdogsmallfirm.com. Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates. Gotcha. <clears throat> Mark, a uh, couple things here. First off, just with the uh, with being able to funnel it inside, probably a pretty nice convenience at this point. How important was it just to kind of establish that rather than shoot? Also, the timeout <coughs> 16 seconds into the second half, what exactly was the source of that? Never done that before, so I wanted to do it. Now, <laughs> now I was on. We had, 10, we had 10 turnovers and, you know, six or seven bad shots. And, um, you know, two guys ran the play wrong, you know, and we're drawing it up and telling them when to cut and what to do. And two guys ran it wrong, so I just want to get their attention, you know. And I wouldn't have done it if... I was going to need my timeouts. I didn't need my timeouts tonight. So, you know, you use these games to get better. And uh, I thought we were much more efficient offensively after that. You know, we weren't very good the last five minutes. I think we scored one point the last five minutes. But um, <clears throat> up until that point, we were pretty good. So that's that's why I called it. The, the, just the work inside, basically. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. And it was a couple, couple good things. First, they, when they were head up, our guys could score it. Um, you know, Q's just a back to the basket, good guy. Julian's really good at, I don't know, he's in traffic and all of a sudden he's by the rim. It's, it's pretty unique what he's able to do. He's got great hands, uh, great length. Um, and then, you know, they got double teamed a couple times. First time we didn't handle as well, but we got better with that as the game went on. So that that's a step that, you know, everything's a step um, uh, as you go and, and Q made a good play pass out of the double team in the second half, which was, was good. I think we missed the shot. It might have got fouled, but it was a good play on his part. <clears throat> hey, Mark. Um, where, where do you think Julian fell on the spectrum of kind of looking like a freshman versus looking like someone he knew he was doing? I know he had that one turnover, but everything else. Happened. Yeah, I mean, at, when, he's, when he's fresh and he first goes in, he plays well, way beyond his years. When he gets a little bit tired, he starts to look like a, a, a new guy. Um, so he got tired in that stretch um, when he had the turnover. Uh, wasn't he was playing foul line to foul line? He couldn't, you know, he, just, he wasn't running hard enough during that stretch. But you know, I just thought when he's fresh, as even his defense, because that kid's a pretty good player. Marfo, you know, he came from uh, SEC, played Texas A&M last year. Um, you know, Juju did a nice job on him. So when he's fresh, he's he's good. He just keeps getting better. He's a willing. You know, he likes to learn, he likes to he listens well, and he keeps getting better. Jacob Ray. <coughs> hey, Coach. Uh, you know, I know we talked about Q already, but I'm uh, really confident with his shot tonight, it seems. What do you think that does for you guys moving forward? Yeah, it's just nice to have low post scoring. I mean, um, you know, 
we, we didn't we couldn't do that last year. There's a lot of different guys we can post. We posted Eric, we posted Dante, we posted you, we posted him. So a lot of and Pablo posted some. So a lot of different guys. But yeah, it's nice when you just call a play and throw it in there, and then teams will start doubling, and you know we got a lot of good players out there, so we can make them pay. So it's it's nice to have. You know our game's different. Our game's still about throwing the ball inside, getting the ball in the paint. Uh, it's a bit different than the next level, and so yeah, it's a nice weapon to have. Can you talk about Fats Russell and the flying explosion of the basket that he brings? Yeah, yeah, he, he's good. Um, sometimes I think he surprises himself. He's so fast, all of a sudden he's at the rim. Um, that, that play in the second half was, was nice. An extraordinary athlete uh, just blows by him, and he's all up there by the rim at, at 5'10". So uh, he's a good player, really good player. You know, we're, we're pulling him in and out, playing a lot of guys, you know, we just got five games in whatever, 10 days or whatever we got coming up. So we're trying to keep guys fresh and uh, as we move forward. But yeah, he was he was good. He, he's, really, he's really good. He's, and uh, he's really been shooting the ball well. I don't know how he shot it tonight. I don't know if, how many shots he got up. I haven't looked at it cl closely, but uh, he's a good player. Yeah, I, I know everybody's going to fall in love with him. He's going to be a fan favorite. No, 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 no. Um, Eric got his milestone out of the way pretty yeah. early. Tonight. I know that's a little for him. <clears throat> Yeah, we haven't even talked about it. So we didn't talk about it before, and we haven't talked about it after, but it's really pretty cool. So 58th all time uh, in our unbelievable history of Maryland basketball. So it's a pretty, pretty special group when you start looking at the names of the 58 guys that have gotten there. So yeah, it's, 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 it's great to see. Um, happy for him. And you know, he had a couple of big threes in the second half. We, it was like, we gotta get him going. He just really hasn't been going the way Eric can get going. So we went back to back, I think three plays in a row to him and he hit two of them. So he got fouled on another one. So yeah, we're not there yet. You know, we're not even close to finding the rhythm yet, but um, happy for him. Uh, it's pretty, I'll go in and say something to him that you reminded me, Sean reminded me, but uh, uh, yeah, when we was, when we signed Eric, I didn't, didn't know if he'd be the player that he is today. He's really turned into be a great, great player for us. In the middle too. Obviously, Eric and I on a big night. Can you talk about any leadership role we want to see from him this season as a senior? Yeah, so to me, his lead, Eric, Eric's good off the court. Eric's good in the locker room. Eric's good back at the apartments. On the court, he's really kind of quiet. Fats talks more. Dante talks more. Eric talks a little bit. What was impressive tonight was the eight rebounds, eight defensive rebounds, two assists, and no turnovers. So, um, he got beat on one backdoor cut. They're a really good cutting team. You didn't, you couldn't see that tonight. They got us a couple times late, uh, but they're a really good cutting team, and we took that away. And Eric would have given up two or three of those last year or the year before, so he's kind of matured defensively. Actually got a steal on one of those cuts. So he leads in his own way. You know, you, you, you sit down individually with players, like who do you talk to the most? Well, off the floor, I always talk to Eric. So Eric has a big big role in, in, in helping us develop these new guys. Hey coach, uh, just from, from a chemistry perspective, since you guys have a lot of like, new players, uh, just how do you think the chemistry was uh, throughout, the, throughout the night? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's good. It's, you know, it's, we got a lot to work on. You know, body language is a big thing for me. Um, you know, just enjoying it, having fun. Don't hang your head when you make a mistake next play mentality. So we had a lot of, I thought we had a lot, some bad carriage as we call it, bad body language tonight. It's something we got to work on, you know? So I, maybe the, their expectations of themselves are too high or whatever, but um, it's, that's something we're starting to talk about more, positive energy, uh, and we'll get better at it. Last one, please, Alex. On the hey, Mark, kind of following up on that last one, you, you know, obviously bringing back all the guys like Dante and Eric and everyone, but then adding, you know, Q and, and Fast to that tonight, what was it like to, Kind of be able to just see that whole group on the court together, and, and, and does it make you excited about the rest of the season? And, you know how you feel about it. Obviously. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I think we have seven starters. Th those five are the ones that start the games, um, and uh, they, they 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 did a great job. I mean, one guy we don't talk about is Akeem. Akeem was terrific tonight. I mean, he was got his hit. I don't know how many steals he ended up with. He had three at halftime. I think he had another one in the second half. Makes all the right plays. Makes all the right decisions. Uh, really gotten better guarding the basketball. So yeah, it was good to see all five of those guys out there. I played them together more uh, tonight than I have. So 
you know, we've tried to divide the teams up in practice. We have competitive practices, so you know, it's it's just going to get better and better as the more more games we can play. But yeah, it, it was good. It's a good group, really good group. Thanks, coach. Thanks, guys. Thank you. What players next?